Hey guys, uh, my name is Rob Schreiber. I'm 20 years old. I'll be 21 in January, 20, uh, January 18th, and I'm from Ben Slam in PA. Um, also, I guess known as Ben Salem in PA, but that's for the uh, squares to say. Um, I guess first and foremost, what uh, makes me stand out the most is, aside from me being a ginger, is uh, probably my height. I mean, then the fact that I'm absolutely yoked. <laughs> but um no yeah I uh I'm about six five, six six, um strapping two hundred pounds of pure steel and sex appeal. Um red hair, blue eyes. I normally stick out like a sore thumb, but by my estimates I'm probably the best looking redhead most people have seen. And I'll argue anybody over that one. Um but yeah, I'm a I'm a college student. Um I went to a Kutz Island for two years. Um then I had a transfer to uh Bucks County Community College because I miss my mom that much and because I couldn't afford it, and because I didn't take it seriously. But, uh, no, so now my free time, uh, most of my day is spent either going to the gym, um, working at PacSun, um, which they wouldn't let me film in the store. I gotta put that out there, because I thought they would have, then they didn't. Kind of screwed me up on that one. Um, and yeah, I go to Cooks Down a lot. Um, I haven't really been able to get there as much as I wanted to recently, because I did start this new job. But, um, yeah, you know, my best friends go there. My best friend Josh, uh, who you'll see. Um, and yeah, I uh, I'd go to, you know the city on the weekend. Sometimes maybe go to Drexel, let's say, just because it's closer. Um, and then really treat myself a cut center every once in a while. Um, I'm studying to be a, a police officer, or something in criminal justice. Um, I kind of you know get a chubby over helping people out. Um, oh, my mom just gave me a face because apparently I say you know chubby and bender too much. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I like to think people, you know, people like me, I like to believe I have a lot of friends, but, I mean, then again, I also am very cocky, so it's probably just myself, you know, being an ass. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm from Ben Salem, not much goes on in Ben Salem, not a lot to show, it's very small, uh, suburban, um, pretty run-of-the-mill, um, they just built a new recent casino and nightclub, but because I'm not 21, there's really no point in me going there yet. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, uh, I live with my family, my mom, my sister, and my dog, and, um, they mean the world to me, and, um, you'll definitely see my mom, I talk about her enough, um, in a minute or two, um, I'm gonna show you my room and just kinda how I <laughs> spend my time with, in the area that is my own, you really get a taste of my organization skills, and, um, yeah, if I think anything else, I'll be sure to let you know, that's a, that's a promise, absolute promise. This is our shit ass living room. That's my buddy Greg. What's up, man? That's his slut girlfriend Erica. <laughs> and there's my best friend, Josh Escalia. How you doing? You've heard about him before. Here's our costume for the night. You'll see these later. On to the kitchen. Now, we like to keep it classy and not do dishes, but also with the natty ice. And that's all you really need. Hey, real world! <laughs> this is natural! Natural! Ice! <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do I turn it off? There we go. It's October 29th, now it's October 30th. Cold as shit. Snow on the ground. And I'm a fucking beer box fucking warrior. Do you guys like my costume, oh, Elise? Rob. <laughs> yeah, no, it's Why Rob. It is Rob. Why are you filming yourself like this? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually filming for the real world. Are you really? Yeah, Christo. Oh, what's up? What are you guys doing? <laughs> it's our first no harm, no fail. No, no harm, no fail. Was. Beer box soldiers had no fear of cold because Jesus didn't tap. Get in here. Come on. It just doesn't tap. You're absolutely right, bro. Jesus the only per tap. the only person that would rival me in a cold ass October 29th snow falling in Kutztown world is my best friend and brother Josh Esco. Yeah, you're absolutely right, dude. It's fucking cold outside. Oh, you're it's absolutely ridiculous. Pull your swords out. We are pulling our swords out. My sword is a little flimsy. This is a little beer on it. We are the least classiest people in the world because we drink natty ice every weekend, but we do it with so much heart and integrity that it almost makes it taste like less poverty and more beer. And that's, you gotta do it with pride. Do it with pride. That's just justice. And this is the part of the night that absolutely sucks. 
part of the day, rather. It is literally 9.30, 9 3 in the morning, and I now have to drive home from Kutztown in the snow just so I can get to work on time at 12. And I work for PacSun with all these little preteen, pretentious, snobby kids come in looking for their cool little Vans shoes. And it's absolutely dreadful. Yo, Poe. What? Turn the TV off. Say hi. Hi. These are my friends, I guess, is going to uh, MTV, Bunham Merritt Productions. I'm not really sure. But, um. What's your name? Tell them what you're about. Tell them who your favorite brother is. Bobby. Well, who's your only brother? Bobby. Kind of defeats the purpose of the question. What is the most important thing I ever told you? Um, probably that my, my grade school's brainwashing me. <laughs> my girl. You really knock us on that. All right, thanks, Poe. Welcome. Love you. Love you, too. So I am standing outside of my mom's doctor's office. Um, Queen Anne Medical Center, and I'm gonna go surprise her. So come join me. Say hi to Real World. I don't think she's excited to see me. So this is the main courtyard of the main campus of my community college, Bucks County Community College. Um, I'll take a little look. And it's a little dead right now just because it's uh, mid during classes and whatnot, and I decided to skip one so I could, you know, at least go to one late. This way I could bang this out real fast, but uh, it's my criminal investigations class. It's one of four classes I'm taking. I'm taking criminal investigations with a retired lieutenant. Um, I have a U.S. history class with an absolute asshole of a woman. Um, I have a math class, and I have a, shit, and a biology class that meets once a week. And I absolutely hate this school, simply because it's not cuts down. And I was a good sound student for a while, and now it's tough to get back there and whatnot. But um, this is where I go to school, Monday through Thursday. So it's a windy day in November, and one of the things I like to do a lot in my free time is play basketball. Um, but yeah, like I said, real windy doesn't make a damn difference. Um, still going to play, you know, give you a little taste of uh, what I can do. So uh, let's pick up from there. See, the best part about being a redhead and playing basketball in a predominantly African American league is that even though I'm six six and white, they still think I can't dunk a ball. So when I come down the court, looking all flashy and fly, and uncoordinated because I'm still a ginger, it's always like, whoa, when I actually throw one down. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so, this is my beautiful mother, Donna. Um, you saw her at work. She is a medical assistant. Um, and she takes care of me way more than she actually should. Uh, I have a 20 year old child, and she embraces it ever so much. It's so, true. It's true. Um, I love her to death, and she's essentially my everything. So, like mom. Love you too. So there was more stuff because my absent minded itself, you know, obviously forgot. Um, I was big into basketball. Um, I, 
play a lot of high school basketball, play a little college basketball. Um, I actually have a, a, a full article written about me in my junior year, if my mom would turn to show that. Um, you know, that was one of my, uh, you know, shining moments. Um, you were taking, oh, you don't got to take the picture, that doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You know you're just wasting my time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, yeah, I don't really have anybody that dislikes me, that has it out for me. Although I am a serial dater and I have a really poor reputation when it comes to like girls up in Kutztown. Um, I'm, the general consensus is that I'm a scumbag. I just think I'm honest and because I like to date more than one person at a time without being official with anybody, that makes me a bad person or just makes somebody too clingy, you know? I like to think of it that way. Um, I don't really, you know, get in a lot of kerfluffles, not a lot of fights. Uh, but sometimes I do say the wrong thing to people, uh, like this weekend. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, bring it in for me. I said this uh, wrong thing to somebody, and they decided to crack me in the forehead with a closed beer can. And it took all my might not to unleash, because ironically, it was like one of my good friends, too. Um, but yeah, that's really what I have to worry about most, is pissing my friends off, because, you know, I pop off at the mouth a lot. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, uh... There's really not much that goes on in the in, the, in Ben Salem, you know, um, but you know it's it's my life and it's pretty simple right now and uh, I'm always looking to jazz it up so uh, hopefully uh, hopefully that happens uh, in the near future, you know what I'm saying? So in closing, um, I showed you pretty much everything I you know I could actually muster up. Uh, Some had to be about myself because like I said, most the majority. Of you know all my friends do live in Kutztown, but um, yeah, you know I I live a pretty busy life right now when I'm just going around by the gym and school and, and work and whatnot. But definitely you know trying to do bigger things, do more fun things, more outlandish things. And uh, yeah, I think I'd uh, I think I'd be good um, for real world um, mainly because I, I, there is no limit with me. There's no boundaries, you know. My corpus callosum in the center of my brain that sorts out my good ideas from my bad ideas normally doesn't apply, to me at least. Um, I have no shame in myself. I'm not shy at all. I mean, I was a damn beer box soldier in 29 degree weather in Kutztown for Halloween with nothing on. Which is, you know what? And not one bit of me regrets anything I've ever done because it always makes for really good stories. So, uh... <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think, uh, I think that'd be good. And if you want somebody on the real world that can actually say they've, uh, had herpes for seven weeks and then found out they were misdiagnosed and it was just scabies, then I might be a good choice, <laughs> but that's your call. Um, but yeah, uh, there's definitely, uh, definitely, uh, no shame, nothing, uh, nothing I, I'm, uh, I'm too afraid to, uh, to try out, nothing I'm too afraid to, uh, experience, so. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed my tape, and uh, I had fun making it, so thanks for the opportunity.